This is going to be a very quick tutorial on the tool inside Adobe Illustrator CC or newer called the Touch Type Tool. And I've made a video in the past about kerning where I didn't actually cover this tool and I probably should have. So I thought it's worth going in here very quickly and showing you how to use it. And the way you get to this tool, it's in my character window right here on my screen. But to get the character window up, what you'll have to do, you want to go to window and then type near the bottom here and just make sure character is selected. And from inside the character window, if you're using Adobe Illustrator CC or newer, there's a button near the top just above the font face called the touch type tool. So once you have something typed out like I do right here, you can just hit on that button for the touch type tool, which if I start hovering over my type right here, you can tell the icon under my mouse pointer has changed just a little bit to show the touch type tool little icon there. And then all I have to do is select which letter you want to adjust. And this tool is really meant for adjusting the kerning of individual letters or also stuff like the scaling of a letter or even the rotation of a letter. So what you want to watch out for here is there are three little opened circles on the top left right here, on the top right right here, and then the lower right bottom. And each of these controls a different aspect. So the top left is for vertical. And then the top right right here is for if you want to make sure your proportion is perfect for both vertical and horizontal, that's what that one does. And the bottom one right here is for the overall width of the letter. So if you want to change individual letters and their overall spacing, you can do that very easily with this tool. And there's also a little circle kind of above a letter when you have an individual letter selected that if you hover over it will bring up a rotation tool. So you can also rotate individual letters this way as well. I'm not sure how many times you'll really find yourself having to go in here and do something like that but it is certainly an option that you can do if you want to both rotate type but if I select my direct selection tool right here which is the black arrow you can tell this is still fully live type so if I change this letter Y to something like a Q you can tell that it maintains all the changes that I made and I can still go in here and edit this which is really the very cool part of this particular tool but perhaps the most useful part of this tool if I select this once again just hit that touch type tool button and select a letter is for doing the kerning of the letters to letters so the way I'd recommend it is you'd select the letter you want to kern and then use your keyboard arrows to move it either left or right and as you can tell if you select a letter it'll only affect that letter in relation to the letter just before it so the E in front of it right here is automatically being pushed up so whatever's in front of it will always be pushed up with it but you can push it back closer to whatever is behind it and if you select a letter on the end like this like the E it won't have anything in front of it so it's just going to be affecting that letter and that letter alone but this is a very quick way to go in here and kind of kern up your words while still maintaining a fully live and editable type and the alternative way of doing this is you could go in there use in the character window and use the tracking but this is just a nice and very visual way to go in here make some adjustments you can click off your word when you're done so that box isn't drawn over it and then you can click on it again and keep on making subtle changes until you think the overall kerning of these letters is pretty close and you don't have to use your keyboard keys your arrows to move this left and right you could also use your keyboard keys to move it up and down you can click on the letter and then just drag it around but there's no way to make sure it maintains its perfect horizontal or vertical position so if you want to make sure it's a perfect horizontal or perfect vertical move you're probably going to want to use your keyboard keys because you have a much more precise control it's just a little bit slower than clicking on the actual letter and then moving it around but that's it for the touch type tool it's actually a very cool tool that i haven't used much in the past at all because it's just not the way i did things i never really gravitated towards it after it was released in adobe illustrator cc but i probably should have because it's just a very useful tool that can save you a lot of time and allow you to make some pretty powerful edits very quickly and easily to your type while still having your type be nice and fully editable where in the past I would either use the tracking which can be a little bit slower or a little bit more guessworky as you just arrow up and down to find the perfect number or I would outline and then ungroup and then shift the type manually which means you can no longer edit it which isn't always a great thing if you have to go in and make changes later but hopefully you found this helpful and if you did please like and favorite and if you want to see stuff like this every week please subscribe I do my best to keep content just like this coming for illustrators and designers thank you so much for watching